Come on, my roll. I was about to say my rolling friend. That was a mix between robot and golem. Uh, come on, my golem friend. An entrance to another world. It's an isekai. Beyond this door, the previous statement perfectly describes the view before me. Actually, that's more accurate than what I thought it was when I said it. But walking behind me is a strange, silent attendant. It is to be my sword and shield for what lies ahead. A disembodied voice suddenly confirms my thoughts. Although I have yet to learn anything, I need to do something besides stand here. At the very least, there might be some clues to this bizarre experience up ahead. I have no choice to, but uh, no choice but to head into the darkness with only this strange doll as protection. Nope, we can't go back. This long, empty stairway. Ooh, the sea. It is my people's land. This is a very long hallway. Oh, whoops. I also didn't realize that there was a speed up button. <laughs> I guess I've been found out this is completely, absolutely not a totally legit PS Vita. Or PSP. Actually it is, that's just, you know, skills. No longer a typical school campus. The floors and the walls, the air, even the R are slightly off. It wouldn't surprise me if I see a monster pop out from the shadows. It's very much like a dungeon here. Welcome, potential master. With a shocking suddenness, a voice begins speaking. It sounds like it's coming from the empty sky above. If you're looking for answers, you must reach the goal. Now please step forward. This illuminated cube in front of you is called an item folder. Inside of, its, uh, inside of it is a farewell present of sorts for those about to face the coming trial. Touch it and open it. Obtained Ether Shard. Before using an en enemy program, it is programmed to attack on site. Touching will initiate a battle, but you won't actually fight as you are too fragile. The effigy given to you will fight in your steed. If your effigy is ever destroyed in battle, you will no longer be shielded from harm. To put it bluntly, you will die. So be very careful in battle, because dying is no good. But there's no need to be afraid, for now. Just do what I say and you'll be perfectly safe for the time being. First off, why don't I explain a little bit about battles? First of all, there are three basic commands that you can issue in battle. Attack, guard, and break. Rock, paper, scissors. Each turn in battle is composed of six actions. You will need to tell your effigy what your strategy is to be. Battles are divided into turns, with six commands being issued each turn. Once confirmed, they'll be executed all at once. The enemy before you should be quite easy to defeat, as it will only perform break. Break, which is focused solely on power, shouldn't be much of a problem against attack. Now use the attack command to destroy the program. Use the directional buttons to choose a command, and then press X to confirm your selection. Enter six attack commands uh, using the directional buttons, and then press X to annihilate the enemy. I have a feeling we might be over an hour this recording session. So, how did it go? One thing to know is that each turn you'll have to plan a series of six moves that will defeat your foe. The goal is still far ahead. If you must bask in the afterglow of your victory, do so while moving forward. You can overcome break by using attack commands. Okay, I was about to say, I know there's a way to turn the camera, but I didn't know what it was. It's the bumpers. Oh, 
Oh, look, here comes another program. You seem nervous. Perhaps you're anxious about fighting in another battle? Do not be alarmed. That enemy isn't strong enough to harm you. Its program is to only use attack. While attack is a potent action, using guard will allow you to defend it and then counterattack. Guard can be used to reduce the damage caused by your enemy attacks, but I trust you know this. Now that you know how the battle will unfold, use the appropriate command to defeat the enemy program. Dude, our robot is kicking some butt. That other guy's robot was a scrub. Yes, that's exactly right. As you may have already noticed, performing these three successful attack actions in a row will result in a chain. By performing multiple chain attacks, you can perform a devastating follow-up attack on your opponent. While doing multiple chain attacks in the heat of battle may be difficult, the result makes it worth the effort. Now, please proceed. I bet this one's gonna go hard. Just have a funny feeling. You should be able to use the fundamentals of battle at this point, but I'll walk you through this one last time. The program will only use guard and do nothing but battle, uh, and do nothing in battle but defend. But no matter how stout one's defense may be, it will only be not against the break command. Remember, always use the appropriate command for any given situation. You have been through three battles and used the attack, guard, and break commands. Someone as intuitive and observant as you must already have noticed this. Each of the three attacks balances each other out, almost like rock, paper, scissors, creating a situation where no attack is dominant. What I just covered is the absolute basics of battle and the minimum info you'll need to know. Once you master the basic, all that's left is to test yourself in the battle to gain valuable experience. Now, please proceed. All the enemy programs you face now only use one move, which won't happen in a real fight. Like you, your enemies will choose their action based on the situation and general observation. Their action will be very difficult for you to predict at first. As you face the same enemy multiple times, you will be able to read their tendencies and patterns accurately. Although, considering your lack of fighting experience, I may be expecting far too much from you. But anyway, please try your best. Okie dokie, so we're gonna go attack, attack, break, attack, attack, break. We got this. Good job! Alright then, please proceed to the final room. I really like how cool this looks. I, one day it would be nice if they remade extra to make it HD. I made it. At the end of the very long road after going through the door that suddenly appeared in the wall. The oppressive air in this place is where the spirits of the dead still linger. Here's my goal. That's what I thought at least. Further in, it appears if someone had collapsed. When I look at his face, it's the student who was following Leo just now. I call out to him, but I get no reply. I shake him in an attempt to wake him when I notice he is stone cold. Steve Austin, as a matter of fact. 
I go pale as the corpse before me, and I can no longer think coherently. All I can do is stare in bewilderment. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Meme reference there. The violent effigy lying next to the male student comes to his feet with a clatter. After having fought several enemies, program scares, obviously that thing is an enemy as well. Without warning, it suddenly twists around and comes right at me. Ook dookie. So, it's our fish first real battle, and I have no idea what this guy's gonna do. I don't think it matters a whole lot, so we're gonna go straight into the attack. Or maybe it does matter, we should actually try to win. Definitely did not use break any. Although he probably will. Oh, he did use break. I was wrong. We're about to see if we can uh, lose here and it actually still count. I'm pretty sure it's a losing, losing battle there. Hmm. <laughs> you seem to be lacking as well. I can hear the sound of a distant voice. The time has come. With your inevitable loss, I will consider this round of preliminaries to be over. Farewell. I pray you find peace in your annihilation. That is the voice's final words to me. I don't have the power to protest. All I can do is stare at the floor. I think I want to die here. That sounds like a pretty cool thing to do at the moment, I guess. Suddenly, at the edge of my nail hazy vision, a number of brown colored lumps seem to rise up from the ground. Actually, it might just be that I noticed them now. They may have been there from the beginning, for all I know. Those lumps are the bodies of an untold number of fallen Tsukimahara Academy students. It's a lot of corpses. The guy before me wasn't the only one to fall. All the others who made it here and died unable to do anything. And at the very and in a very short while I suppose I'll be one of them. Maybe I should just close my eyes now. I did all that I could, so maybe it'd be better to end it now. <laughs> just let it end now. <laughs> I refuse to give up. I summon all my strength in an attempt to get back on my feet. However, as I try to move, an unbearable, intense pain shoots through my entire body. If that's how it's going to be, no. If this is... I don't want it to end like this. I cannot ignore the intense pain coursing through my body. I've reached a point where I no longer see stars and my eyes feel like they're on fire. I feel like all five of my senses are being ripped from my body. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the pain. I'm afraid of losing my senses. I'm afraid of being a corpse. Because being a corpse doesn't sound like a fun thing to do. And the most terrifying thing, disappearing without a trace for any reason at all. It's not right that I disappear here. My consciousness shot through with a wave of distortion. Screams out against the injustice of it all. What was the purpose of suffering through these headaches just to fade away here and now? What were they all for if I just fade away here and now? I have to stand up. It's okay if I'm scared. It's okay if I'm in pain. I have to arise above all that. Because I have yet to fight any of my violations and fight, my own, uh, fight on my own terms. <sighs> the voice of the gods. Indeed, you must embrace your fear and death and fight on regard uh, fight on regardless of what fate may rocks you. Well spoken, nameless traveler. Even if the world will never hear of your desire, know that I admire and respect it. Close your hands and and raise your head. Your end is yet to come. In fact, your destiny begins now.
The sound of breaking glass is accompanied by a light cutting through the gloom. I managed to move my weary body and aching head to see what's happening. I didn't notice it before, but something is slowly rising up from the floor in the middle of the room. That form... It's Bestest Girl. Who might I add is not fish eyed. Its appearance isn't that much different from that of a human being, but something was different. Like, you know, she's fashionable. Clearly so. The power of emanating from it transcended that of any human or any enemy I faced in getting here. An awesome power that seems as if it'd be vaporized anyone it touched swirls within my body, almost against my will. Now then, I shall ask you once more. Answer me. Are you my master? Yes. <laughs> Your words are few, but beautiful. I like that. I won't ask you how privileged you feel for summoning me. Alright, I give my blessing. I will bestow upon you the honor of being my master. She takes a hold of my hand and helps me to my feet. From the hand she had grabbed comes a sudden warmth and then a sharp pain. Like I've been cut by a knife. On the back of my hand, though, is tattooed. It's a strange symbol that looks like some kind of crest. Totally confused, and I alternate between staring at the mark on my hand, or staring at the mark on my hand, and the person standing before me. And then, definitely stare at the person before you. The noise behind me brings me back to my senses. Turning around, I see that the effigy before, from before is still there. Now in a fighting stance, I wince uncontrollably, recalling my previous defeat at its hands. What an excitable master I have. Why are you so flustered? While I am by your side, have no fear that you may lose your way. Remember that victory is all that matters. My blade is the ultimate instrument. Even the muses themselves would bow before the sound it makes. Master, strike with my sword. Show me the extent of your abilities in this first battle. battered effigy stops moving. There's no way it'll still function. After being effectively torn apart. That wasn't entertaining at all. Considering how long I've waited for such a moment, I am truly unsatisfied. She continues to talk. However, the sound of her voice doesn't quite reach my ears. The heat coming from the mark on my hand grew in intensity. During the fight and resulting pain has become unbearable and burns through my consciousness. The mark imprinted on your hand is your command uh, seal. It is proof that you hold dominion over a sermon. You can use it to give three orders that must be obeyed. Think of them as disposable strengthening spells. It is also proof of your participation in the Holy Grail War. If you lose it for some reason, you will die. Dying doesn't sound good. Again, I repeat, do not die. Once again, I hear that voice. I somehow manage to ignore the pain and listen to what it has to say. I can understand your confusion, but before I forget, Congratulations, you have endured much to make it here. Now rest for a while, you have achieved your first goal. It was an incredibly cum uh, clumsy effort to say the least, but that's what made it all the more entertaining. I've had this duty for a long time, but this is the first time I've seen a master as helpless as you. Nevertheless, be proud of your achievement. Your quick thinking came to a result of nerves and rashness. Or as a result. Thinking about it, the voice sounds like a, that of a 30-year-old man. Sounds like a priest, almost. 
an arrogant one. One that likes spicy tofu. It's really irritatingly smug. For some reason, I can see the owner of voice as a pri- Oh, okay, well, you know. As a priest dressed in a somber casket. Or a song. Oh, you're curious about my identity. I am honored. But I am insignificant. I am merely a part of the system. I am just a god tasked with giving a standard message and giving the personality of the prior participant. I am no more words, no more of the mountain you just conquered, no more of a record of the past. A record. So if I raise any objections to this voice, does it mean that I won't receive any answers in return? Exactly. Well, this is unexpected. You have received the commendation. Something about you having a lot. I have no clue who would say such a thing about me, but that short phrase struck in my heart because for some reason, unknown reason, I knew the words were sincere. As for, I expect good things from you, it seemed like more of a command than an encouragement. Now let us commence your baptism. You have proven yourself worthy of the honor. For the most, the monetary of everyday life continues without an end. Your decision to look beyond the acceptance and progress means that you have earned the right to exist. However, you have but taken the first step. Be jubilant, young knight, for the Holy Grail War begins now. I have no idea what he's talking about. The Holy Grail War? The right to exist? That is correct. An object of great power once existed in this world. One that could grant any desire. People called it the Holy Grail and fought endlessly in an attempt to gain sole possession of it. This war, the system you find yourself in now, is an evolution of those struggles. You stand at the entrance of the most deadly struggle where any ma or many magi perish in pursuit of the Holy Grail. Listen, had I not bestowed upon you the earth desire, you'd merely, you'd be merely saints capable of committing sin. Now fight to the death, fighting to the death, always with the fight to the death. The fiery throne of heaven will only receive those with the strongest of desires. The voice reverberates throughout his hidden chapel as if it were a voice of a god. Kill, magi. Holy girl that grants wishes. These questions and more swirl inside my head and almost seem to carve themselves into my flesh. That sounds painful. Carving anything into flesh seems painful, actually. In war, a weapon is needed. That is your servant. They are the spear that pierces and the shield that protects. A legendary soul whose purpose is to clear your way of that grail. That is the one who stands beside you. I glance over at the young woman in red standing next to me who is looking up into the sky. She is my servant. It seems you have decided and with that decision as payment, I now open the gates to the Holy Grail War. The marks on my hand, my command spell, once again become excruciatingly painful. It's over. I can't take it anymore. I die. I reach the limits of my endurance and my mind starts to shut down. As I lose consciousness, I can vaguely hear the voices of final words. Now let the Holy Grail War begin. No matter the era, deciding who is worthy through battle is divine provo uh, providence of man. Major who have been inv invited here by the moon, show me your true strength. And I think we're gonna call it here. That uh. We got Nero, so there's plus to that. Um, that's I definitely wanted to accomplish that. I actually didn't think it would take us that long to accomplish it, but I guess it did. So next time, we'll s actually start the Holy Grow War and walk around, talk, and figure out what we're supposed to do. Um, I also know if someone can give me kind of like a heads up as well, just to make sure I don't miss any scenes for the room when you go talk to Nero. If there's anything like special, like it's, I don't know if you can miss any, but if there is any that you can miss, just sh let me know in the comments or send me a DM at Discord. So that way I don't miss them. Because I want to hear our dialogues and stuff like that. So, um, other than that, we'll be back. Um, I, I mentioned it on stream, but the week of the 15th, I'll look and just to make sure what it is. Um, it won't be this weekend, but the following weekend. So, the 17th and possibly the 19th, there isn't going to be a stream. Um, I've got something I have to do that those few days, so I'll be doing something completely different and just won't have time to stream. Uh, that being said, next week's videos, um, I'm going to try to actually record longer, so that way I've got some to put out, and I might try to record enough to have like five videos instead of the normal three for that week at least, but we'll see, just to make it kind of even, seeing as I normally stream for two days, so, but that's going to be it for this time, and I'll catch you guys later.